What's going on YouTube? Welcome to the Let's Build the USS Voyager Season 1 Episode 26. I'm Zero Elite and I just want to thank you very much for tuning in today's episode. And if you haven't, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and helping me and supporting the channel. I can't thank you enough for that. Today we're going to be picking up where we left off in the last episode, blending in our, net, our backbone of the neck and then we're also going to be shifting back to the shuttle bay area and we'll be making some changes to that. We've got about a 16 minute episode so without further ado let's go ahead and jump right into this thing. So I'm going to let this go for a second and then I'm going to explain what we're doing here. But um this is pretty easy, to be honest with you. All we're doing is we're transitioning the pattern. That's it. So it's very important at this stage in the game that you're paying attention to your cut line and your pattern because that's literally what we're following here. do that going all the way around. Not looking too bad so far. This is what I'm saying, like, when you're doing these builds, you know, plan out what you're going to do. And even after planning out what you did, if it didn't work out, you know, try to think of a couple of different things that you can do to fix what you have. This is why I say having that reference material is just so vital to the build because you have those pictures or 3d model or physical model to go off of to compare with what you have and you can use that to make uh, whatever changes you need to make because basically what's happening is that I keep looking at my reference material based on what we have so far and um, the back area of that we're at right now looks fantastic. It, it's going to blend in just fine, but really it's the front that we're going to have to make some adjustments to. And I mean the front, I mean the um, the front shelf of where the bridge will sit. Now before I get too, too far out, I want to make sure that I'm doing the same thing on both sides. And we're just literally filling in just like we did for the lower part of the neck. And see just how that looks right now it didn't look too bad but we'll we're gonna do more blending. Right now we're gonna shift to the lower hull and we're gonna take off a layer. I want to zoom back here so I can point out our starting point. So you can see that we're down on the side. We're going to go right here, right off this first cut line, this first row. We're going to be shaving a row off. So you can see we're going right up to here, this very first block with our cut line. And then you can see we're going to shave off a row and we're going to follow our cut line. So same thing. Take off a row, go in with a cut, take off a row. So 
slowly but surely we're gonna drop about 35 to 40 pounds off Voyager so that she's a little bit slim down to catch up to where we were on the tour episode. So I want to make sure if you do one thing on one side, you're going to do it on the other side. Very important that you do that. Because again, if you need the refresher on it, if you think about it this way, if you are looking at Voyager from a front view and you cut it in half, essentially we're only having to design half the ship because you're going to repeat that same step on the other side, only mirrored. You can see I'm fixing the template here on the side of the saucer where it fits in with the neck. And I'm pretty sure it's the same way on the other side. Yep, it sure is, so we're going to fix that. And see, it's not even a big deal. Mistakes happen. This is why I say follow your template, follow your cut lines, because when you do make a mistake in situations like that, when you follow your patterns, this is going to help you identify areas where you did make a mistake, and it becomes easier to correct those mistakes once you come across them. There we go. Looking pretty good. So we'll have some blending that we have to do on the sides of the neck, but the neck is just about where it, where it uh, was as far as in the tour episode. So now we're going to be shifting over our work to the tail end of our lower hull and rebuilding the shuttle bay. So you can see I'm going off of this cut line right here. We're taking a row off. Should have the same thing on both sides. And then we're going to bring that back by one. This right here, we we'll probably need to take that row off on the outside just so it matches. Then we're going to come back and we're going to take off the last two rows, just on the sides. Believe it or not, by the end of the episode, the overall template that we'll have for the shuttle bay area will be more or less what we're going to fall on um, with the finished ship. So now we're just going to go down with a pattern of two. And we're going to bring that going all the way down. If we have to make adjustments, we'll make adjustments. So I'll make sure our starting point is the same, skipping that first block and then a pattern of two. If 
Got one more to do. There we go. Now, a good thing about this pattern that we have is that now this is going to dictate basically how the rest of this thing is going to go. We're just going to follow our cut line and go row to row. That's going to dictate how the sides are going to look, and that's going to dictate also the um, how ultimately the lip of the lower hull will look that wraps around the shuttle bay. It's all going to be dictated off of this wall that we're putting in right now. Yeah, that's why I say don't worry about the underside because we're just going to have to rebuild it more or less. That looks pretty good. Now we're going to repeat the same thing on the right side and then we're going to come back again and then we're going to adjust our lip. So this way everything blends in nice and neat. You know, um, this is why I try so hard to stick with my patterns, but like with that being said, um, some of my recent builds, I've been having times where I've had to stray away from using a pattern, like with the Excelsior. Um, everything I did for the belly of the lower hull, trying to use patterns, could not get the shape that I needed to for the Excelsior. That was one of the first ships that I've, I actually had to veer away from using a pattern uh, well, a set pattern that goes with cut lines and uh, kind of uh, veered away from that ever so slightly. You guys will see what I mean when we get into that tutorial. But um, but you know what? No, I, I take that back because even with the lower hull of the Excelsior, there's still going to be a pattern there. It's just not the cut lines just don't match up perfectly. So I'm sl I was slightly mistaken on that. My bad. Um, so, I mean, I'll rephrase that... Um, with the Excelsior that the lower hull of uh, the ship it didn't have the cut lines matching up perfectly like the majority of um, my builds do. With the Excelsior for the lower hull um, there's still a pattern there. Like I said there's just kind of a gap here and there with some of the rows of the cut lines. But doesn't look so clean as Voyager does. We gotta fix that, bring it in. There we go. Yeah, because we're just following our template right now. I need to bring that out by one. I actually messed up there. Mm hmm. There should be a lip on the edge of that. There we go. See, this is what I mean by our lip of the lower hull for the back end is going to be dictated by these walls in the sides here. Which is cool because it's less work that we have to do with filling out or f uh, figuring out the actual design of it because we're just literally using what we got. I don't know why I keep doing that. I need to bring it out by one. There we go. That's making my eye twitch. I need to bring it down by one more. There we go.
and we are almost done with reshaping this. I think we're going to go out one with a cut by two. We're going to do the same thing on both sides. We're actually going to make it by three. And then we're going to go out with a cut and then by four. And just bring it straight across. That doesn't look too bad. Let's just go ahead and fill it in and see how it looks. Sometimes you just got to make a decision. See how it looks, you know. If it doesn't look right, it's not a big deal. You could always make adjustments to it. Now we're just going to fill in the very bottom. There we go. One more row. Sweet. I have a couple of holes here on the sides on the right that we have to fix. There's still one, two more. And now we're going to fix our cut line here in the very bottom and also this hole. There we go. Because remember we have this cut line going along the sides and we need to keep that intact so this way the rest of the build matches up. There we go. Now it looks like we did it on purpose. Even though it was a last minute change. And so overall, this is going to be the general template for our shuttle bay. This is what we end up with for the tour episode. We're going to get rid of some of this access here. And then that's going to wrap us up today. But pretty cut and dry what we had to do. Not too bad. We are rocking and rolling on Voyager. Slowly but surely making progress. But anyway, if you have any questions regarding today's episode, drop a comment below. Definitely love hearing from everybody. Uh, any build suggestions you have, you can drop them in the comments section or in Discord under build suggestions. Um, there's a ton of new content coming up in the channel in the future. You know, we've got the Excelsior 2 class following Voyager, Voyager Season 2, the Enterprise D Season 2, um, and uh, we've got the uh, Outrider YT2400 Outrider or mini series that's going on, and also the Enterprise A 2.0 that will be releasing when we hit 1,000 subscribers. Um, yeah, so a lot of cool stuff coming out. But I think that's going to do it for me today. I just want to thank you all again for tuning in today's episode. And if you did enjoy this content, please help me out. Hit that like and subscribe button and help me in supporting the channel. I can't thank you enough for that. But I just want to thank everybody again. And I hope you have uh, a happy and safe week. And of course, what did you make in Minecraft today? Let me know in the comments section and post your photos in Discord.